Greetings. This devotion is for the 16th of March, and our reading for this day comes from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 10, verses 6 through 13. Now, these things occurred as examples for us, so that we might not desire evil as they did. Do not become idolaters, as some of them did, as it is written. The people sat down to eat and drink, and they rose up to play. We must not indulge in sexual immorality, as some of them did, and 23,000 fell in a single day. We must not be put we must not put Christ to the test as some of them did, and they were destroyed by serpents. And do not complain as some of them did, and they, and they were destroyed by the destroyer. These things happened to them to serve as an example, and they were written down to instruct us on whom the ends of the ages have come. So if you think you are standing, watch out that you do not fall. No testing has overtaken you that is not common to everyone. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tested beyond your strength, but with the testing, he will also provide the way out so that you may be able to endure it. So, there is a sense in in the early church that that so long as you were saved by Jesus, you could do anything you wanted to do, right? It just didn't matter. <laughs> it, and, and there was, so there was a, even in those days, a sense of strong entitlement. Jesus gave me everything, gave, saved me, so therefore, I can have a ball. Now, of course, this is contrary to a faith journey that's about gratitude. And, and that's really what Paul's trying to get to here, that we are living lives that are thankful, thankful, gratuitous lives. And that's the key. Yes, God has given salvation. And yes, it is without condition. But we cannot live lives like we deserve it or, or can do anything we want. Hey, rather, we live lives in gratitude for what God gave us. I think a prayer attributed to St. Francis of Assisi speaks well to that. Join me. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us so love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love, for it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. <laughs>